Yeah. Approach on the stop left 25, 21, look down to 21, descending via the moderate two, what's the left transition we have here? Southwest 2521, Denver approach, we expect the visual one six left. Okay, expect that, thank you. Southwest 5345, contact approach 125175. Do you want to roger? Uh, continue private hunting, expect back to the bar, that's 26. That was 5345, 7,000, the sentence via the class 3 with Julia. Stop, well, 5345, Daniel Kirk, good afternoon, 3RNAV, Zulu runway, 179, thank you. 3RNAV, Zulu 179, thank you. shall we? We are going full load today. turned on. Economy, we can have 198, so let's just do 178. CG is 22, it's going to be at least uh, 20. I usually go 21. You can add cargo, like we'll do here. We'll say uh, six pallets, that pushes it up to 23. That's fine, we'll leave it there. So we got 249 passengers. And zero fuel weight is 190.8. CG is 23. So we're going to need to do that. Wrong button. Current Eric. Good there. Come over and get our flight plan filed. This is our route going from uh, LA to San Fran. Looks like it's uh, kind of overcast in most of this trip, unfortunately. It is what it is. So we're going with uh, pretty heavy today, 190. Point 0.8. And we'll 
see what it gives me for a uh, cost index. Fifteen. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Let me just go up to one sixty. Let's try this again. Actually, it shows I have a message that says ninety nine top so we'll just do 99 I can adjust the speed manually so that's no problem all right 12 5 4 4 is fuel Zero fuel is 190.8, so that's a match. Ninety-one. Departing um, two five right. That's what Juliet. Right. Juliet, wind is okay. San Fran is arriving on 28 right. I think 28 left is closed. Yep, 28 left is closed. So we don't know to program the right one. And LA is CBD LC capable. So all that looks good. CPDLC, which is like a text message for clearance. We are a heavy, 30,000. File. We are right there. down the runway, eight knots. Looks like might get a little wind shear here soon. My weather injector is about 20 minutes behind real world. Updates every five minutes, but real world doesn't update for 20 minutes usually. All right, back to the aircraft. these on Late 
Ladies and gentlemen, the captain and crew would like to welcome you on board this Airbus A350. If you haven't already done so, please throw your carry-on luggage underneath the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin. The flight crew will do everything possible to make your flight comfortable and enjoyable. Xplane.org, OneSim.com, and Ramses Aviation Design wish you a pleasant flight experience. Uh, where are we taking off? Summer two. And we are at seventy five Alpha. So that is our GPS coordinate. APU is pulling up. Turn on the APU bleed, which will get all this going. And APU generator. Got 18 quarts of oil. Power is good. Hydro is full. Lead air <coughs> is good for starting main engines when we need to. And we got air conditioning heating going. Skid. Turn on surveillance. All that is good. We are at LAX We're going to San Fran. So we're showing thirty three fifty six. So that is good, 18.24, so that is fine. Go ahead and align our nav.
Thirty-five, sixty-five. It's Atis. Lost. Juliet, 1753 Zulu. Wind 2508. Visibility 7. 2200 scattered. Temperature 20. 2.13. Altimeter 299 or 1. Arriving runways 24 right, 25 left. Departing runways 24 left, 25 right. ILS runway 24 right and 25 left approach in use or vector for visual approach will be provided. Simultaneous visual approaches to all runways are in progress. Simultaneous instrument departures in progress. VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advise on course heading, altitude, and if it following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information Juliet. Los Angeles Internet. Alright, that's Juliet. And ground is point seven five. Tower for South Complex one twenty ninety five. Log in and we'll get our IFR clearance out of here. Here's our ATC message, so we shall go ahead and pick up our clearance. We'll put that on standby for a second. Cleared to San Fran, some are too stoked as file. Climb via the SID. Set maintain 5000. So that's our top initially. So we're going to climb via, except maintain 5000. So we can't go as high as the SID says, at least not initially. Expect 300 within 10. Departure is 125.2, and our code is 1465. 1465. Accept. 1465. 25. 20. 20. 4, Stoked. I'm just making sure I have all this right because I got to close that out. Land. All right, we got our clearance. That shows 88, that should update here soon. Tower, November 160, Papa Echo, uh, 8 miles to the north, inbound for landing with Zulu, cat 4 rating. Tower 60, Papa Echo, San Ran Tower, report midfield right down on runway 30. Report midfield uh, runway 30, um, 
Bright Settlement, November 16, Europa Echo. Echo, right, what does the altimeter say now? It's still 88. Okay. So sometimes it takes a little bit to catch up. Load our weather. Frequency to that squat page. Put that on master, and we're going to squat 1465. Leave it on standby for right now. EPU is on and tested. All that is good. All that is good. That's the surveillance stuff. I did the barrow. Uh, that's checking, make sure avionics and everything is in line. So, you're going to depart to five, right? Summer two, stoked transition. Five right, summer two stoked. Insert. And then at San Fran, we want two eight right, because two eight left is closed. Two eight right via Eddy, via Surfer four should be no trans. And we'll get rid of this uh Disco, insert. Cost index, uh, what I say it was 99. And our cruise temp today. November Minus 33. Uh, we have a uh, let's see. It's 50. I mean, uh, where's my winds? It's 50 knots. So it'd probably be like 40 knot tailwind. So we'll do tail. 50. Request our climb winds. All right, so we've got, let's see, zero fuel weight. 190.8 C 
CG is 23. Block fuel, say 13.8. Passengers, 2.49. Off perf. Thirty nine, twenty nine. That's close enough. All right. One sixty and one sixty two. Elevation is 128, so that'd be like 630 would be 500. No Monte Tower, try to drop up to the whiskey. Three mile left, please. Only one under. And we'll do. Um, thousand foot above for engine out, and we're gonna do flex. Which is 57. One way one niner, Charlie got up to it. So we do uh, two five right, so Docker, Evos, McKee. All, right, all that is correct. Flex temp is added. Trans altitude, departure winds. And we can't go higher than uh, 5,000. Initial. November 160, Papa Echo, clear of runway 39 at uh, Alpha 6, uh, taxi to FBO. All right, we're going to disconnect these externals. Here, Papa Echo, taxi to FBO via Alpha, pass to the Cat 4. Now taxi they are off. Alpha. Thank you. So we'll go ahead and close our doors. Doors automatic. Attention, all flight attendants. Doors automatic. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Ground to cockpit. Toes is driving up. Get all these systems turned on. All right, 
overhead is ready. Come down here and we will squawk mode Charlie. All doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. I'm on tower. This is Charlie Golf up to the whiskey. I'm off uh, runway one niner at Fox Rod. Excuse me, excuse me, W taxi to parking via Alpha. Have a good day. I'll go ahead. Thank you, taxi to parking via Alpha. Lock that cabin door. Thanks, Papa Zulu whiskey. Connected, bypass pin inserted, release parking brake. Starting pushback, you may start your engines. To pick and light, ECAM mode is auto, master engine selector to normal, and we'll turn on engine one. Watch the uh, SpaceX Inspiration4 launch yesterday, so it kind of got me in the mood to fly this aircraft because the flight deck of this aircraft looks like the Star Trek Enterprise to me. So I figured the space theme, and I was so proud of those people that made it up there yesterday, and they're up there for three days. It's just so, so cool. Those guys have got it going on. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. So if you guys like my videos, my content, my flights, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I'd much appreciate it. It lets me know that you guys enjoy my um, video editing. I'm trying to edit out the uh, the boring stuff. That way, like most of the, or if not all the prep is going to be there, but some of the crews I just delete so it doesn't get too boring. We'll get a confirm here in a moment. There we go. Engine start selector to a normal. APU bleed off. Actually, let me make sure we've so got two good gens. So turn off that, that, and that. Anti ice, we'll go ahead and pop on window heat. Ground spoilers armed. Left lever on two. CDPC back up. Pitch trim. Uh, 25. 25 is close enough to 24. Actually, I could. That's all right. Not that big of a difference. CDPC W pass for the Cat 7. Uh, the only note I have is um, when I saw you turning final, and it actually looked like you were coming from the northwest. Uh, I'm assuming you overshot to beat the final turn there. Um, it's not that important when you're on a single runway, but if it's parallel, that, that can become a big issue. Okay, I've already had information I'll, that I might for next time. I'm going to try it again just for fun, and hopefully I'll get it better next time. i got a cat eight coming up. Check our controls. All controls are good.
Make sure our uh, reversers work. Shut. Wheels are all green. Fuel is even. Power is fine. Hydro is pressurized. Lead air is good. Environment's good. Pressure is good. Go ahead and set RTO. Projected takeoff. Firmly on the red cord, only when leaving the aircraft. If you need to refill the vest, approach and use for vector for visual approach will be provided. Simultaneous visual approaches to all runways are in progress. Simultaneous instrument departures in progress. DFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading. I need to turn up the ATC a bit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. We wish you all an enjoyable flight. Thank you. Basically, Terminal 7. <clears throat> Afternoon, Los Angeles ground, United 1399 Heavy at Terminal 7, current with Kilo, ready taxi. United 1399 Heavy, Los Angeles ground, runway 25 right, taxi via Charlie 7 Bravo. 25 right via Charlie 7 and Bravo, United 1399 Heavy. Bravo is the inside one. Charlie 7, the Bravo, all the way down. Permit clearance, service 201, Victor Papa, IFR 2, Santa Maria. Two zero one Victor Papa, Fairbank clearance, you said IFR or VFR to Santa Maria? Uh, I believe it's IFR. Victor, I don't have a flight plan on file. Uh, did you follow? I tried SIP read this time. I can uh, go back and refile it. Roger, yeah, I'll let you know if it comes through. Okay, I'll refile. SIP read works for me.
Santa Maria Tower, bearing 1427 Yankee, ready to depart, runway 30. Bearing 1427 Yankee, Santa Maria Tower, course approved, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 427 Yankee. to match ATIS. Now that my weather has caught up, I'll uh, refresh the clouds, make sure everything looks as if, or everything matches the weather stations. The weather has changed since I first started. So we'll update it since we're holding short. I don't want to do it when I'm taxiing because it will pause for a couple seconds. Wind is right down the runway, so it really won't make too much of a difference. Plus, we're pretty, pretty dang heavy, so. dog out real quick before I take off He always decides to run to the door to go outside. As soon as I'm taxing for takeoff, he does it just about every time. So maybe I should just make it go out. Alright, over to the tower. 1399 heavy home short 25 right United 1399 heavy Los Angeles Tower runway 25 right clip for takeoff 25 right clip for takeoff United 1399 heavy Let's do Strobes, landing lights.
update the weather like I said I was going to. Here we go. Now everything matches weather stations. The winds are kind of gusty, but it's right down the runway, so it should be fine. Bring our uh, power up to 50%. Engines are stable. Flex 57. Nice little rolling takeoff there. Airspeed's alive, SRS is active. Over to departure, United 1399 Heavy, see ya. Yeah, 1427 Yankee, Sunlight, Power Wings, Shannon, Runway 29 Report. Alright, SoCal, let me see. SoCal departure, United 1399 Heavy, climb via the summer to leaving. 1,700 for 5,000. Yeah, the 1399 Heavy, so called departure radar contact, and good afternoon, climb via SID. Uh, good afternoon, climb via the SID, United 1399 Heavy. Right, so climb via. So our top altitude for the SID is flight level 230, so we'll bring that up. 230. And the next uh, restriction would be under 12,000, which we've got coded there at dark. 12,000 there. And then we start heading this way. Locker 234 contact, Los Angeles, Sun Terra, 128.6. Top altitude 230. So, yep, we are set. Packs are on, flaps are up, I think. Yep. There's no icing. to 120 miles. Walker 234, Los Angeles Center, Wittenberg, all is 2991. United 1399, heavy contact, Los Angeles Center, 135.5. Los Angeles Center, 135.5, United 1399, heavy. Switch to 35.5. Los Angeles Center, United 1399, climbing via the summer to leaving 10,200. United 1399, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Turn off our landing lights. Take off lights. You don't have to say heavy once you are uh, 
uh, once you're with uh, Centaur, you don't have to categorize yourself as a heavy aircraft for wake turbulence and all. They're not as worried about separation uh, with the centers as they are with the lower tracons, approach, tower, ground. Anything under center, you have to say heavy if you are cat categorized as a heavy. So in this case, we are a uh, we are a heavy. Anything more than 400,000 pounds, if it has two aisles, or if the aircraft just in general is categorized, like the, the A306, the 300-600, is less than 400,000 pounds, but it's still categorized as a heavy. Uh, similar, the Concorde, it doesn't meet the weight restriction, but it's got the delta wing, so it creates a, a lot of weight turbulence, so that's categorized as a heavy. Although you don't have to say heavy with Concorde because that's implied when you say Concorde. So when I'm flying the Concorde, I just say Speedboard Concorde 1399, and they are automatically know it's a heavy with weight turbulence because of the delta wing. So you don't have to say Concorde heavy. Uh, use one or the other. do all this stuff by a lot of its memory. Now yeah, it's gonna be an overcast day. After the next call out, which should be uh, pretty soon, he'll clear me up to my cruise, which would be flight level three zero zero, and uh, I'll stop the departure at that point to the next, and then uh, I'll splice in the arrival into San Fran, so that way you guys won't be bored with the, the boring cruise section of this. But I'll wait till he. Uh, Clears, clears me all the way up to the top. Six. Coming up to transition altitude, flight level 180. Walker 234. Walker 234. Basically standard now, so we can just go ahead and. 19.6, uh, Walker 234. United 1399, contact Los Angeles Center 133.2. LA Center 133.2, United 1399. Los Angeles Center, United 1399, flight level 187, climbing via the summer 2. Walker 234, clear on a Zulu and Ray 27 approach. I think I stepped on him. Didn't know it does. So. 1399, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon, climb and maintain flight level 300. I maintain flight level 300, United 13, line 9. Alright, 300, going all the way up. So the only thing I have left to do is make sure that I have enough of a cruise, which I'm pretty sure I do. 1951 to 2003, so we got about a 10 minute cruise. But we got another uh, what, 6 minutes we get to our top of climb, so do seat belts. Ladies and gentlemen, our aircraft continues to climb. We would like to remind you that all flights of our airline are not smoking. For your safety, the lavatories have been equipped with smoke detectors. 
Damaging or disconnecting the smoke detectors is strictly prohibited. On the overhead panel you will find a personal lamp, air conditioning, and a flight attendant button. The lavatory for the business class passengers are located in the front of the airplane, and for the economy class passengers, in the back and center of the airplane. For your safety, when seated, we recommend to keep your seat belts fastened, even when the fastened seat belt sign is off. Got uh, three zero zero answered, so that's fine. All right, I'll see you guys back here in a second for our uh, descent into San Francisco. Stand by. This is Fortnite Member Alpha Cross Runway 2 right, guys. on Alpha. And we were given and our instruction to descent uh, for departure, shorter via. Runway so I need to go to wind and descend and we'll get our descent winds here shortly, usually within 20 miles. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now start our onboard entertainment program. For your comfort, we will lower the cabin lighting. In the side arms of your chairs, you will find your personal... So we'll get a little box that will show that it's ready for download. Looking at a D Atis of Kilo. It's landing 28 right into San Fran. Usually about under 20 miles is when I'll get the box to show up here. Update the winds and then we'll put in the uh, the arrival information. I mean the uh, weather information. minute now. There we go. Wind request. And we can take this down to 6,000. So we'll reset MCP for 6,000 feet. And then I'll do thumbs up. Managed. Center United 1399 is leaving tree 00. United 1399, Roger, thank you. You always have to let them know when you have departed the last assigned. Since he just told me to descend via. Devices during descendant landing is prohibited as it may to 
Let's look up. Number 734 November Alpha Yakima Tower. Make a left down departure. Runway 27 cleared for takeoff. Got um, San Fran. 29.85, the wind is 020 at 8, temperature 19. So we'll come down here and we'll go. The wind is zero two zero at eight knots temperatures 19 Q and H is 10 11 working. Doing the weather. Alright, so the minimums for 28 right is, uh, what is this, cat 3? So it's actually none. So we just make that 100. even electric is good hydro is good at 1399 contact NorCal approach 121.3 NorCal 121.3 United 1399 right, switch to that looks like we're slowing for this 280 knot restriction at gnarly and the ATIS is still actually it's Lima now 2985 with 28 right. NorCal approach, United 1399 heavy, descending via the Surfer 4, leaving flight level 207. Current with Lima, request uh, ILS 28 right from Eddie. Yeah, 1399 NorCal approach, uh, thanks for all on copy. You can expect ILS 28 right approach. And I can plan on that, United 1399 heavy. guys so we're slowing down to our 280 knots here for gnarly that's why I grabbed the uh, descent winds it helps forecast all that out Get a final approach controller. Two eight right is one 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 point seven. So that is good to go. Approach data is good. Position navigate secondary auto break. I'll do that when we get a little bit lower. Do those lights here shortly. So we're going to go from Eddie, which is the last waypoint of the star. 
to grab the first waypoint of our approach, just kind of like an RNAV coupled ILS precision approach. 2 8 right. So we're going to land on 2 8 right, got 11,800 foot of runway. If I can slow in enough time, we'll exit here at Echo. We'll have to make sure we hold short, even though this runway is closed. We still don't want to cross it. Wonder if I could go up there. It's probably a high speed. I'm not sure if that's closed. That must be the stop bars. So that's a high speed exit after echo. I know this is not used, but this one may be used, so we could always exit here, cut across to Delta, and then come in and park here. All right. We are looking at 29.85. get a little bit closer. Once we get the AOK -okay to fly the approach, we can bump it down to 1,800 feet. And this is a Cat 3, so there's really no minimums. We're going to land either way. Unless there's a system error or something, but should be okay. So 280 knots, we're right on the money, between 10 and 15 at Epoch. Right on schedule. Make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to. I like doing it on my. Uh, yep, that's uh, just before I depart and right before I arrive. Uh, that to, uh, way, all the clouds Redmond, look and, uh, we like they're supposed to, uh, per weather stations and such. Skylab United 13 United 9 expect right approach. Expect United 28 right. Uh, United 13 United Because he didn't pass that on to her. It's all good. Put on our take off the weather, we'll put on terrain. This is all water out there. Clear to Redmond Airport, Chile 4 departure, Kingman transition is filed. Maintain 8,000, expect flight level 360, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.2, squawk 305 Alright, looks like my wind updated, but it's showing 6. Kingman, then it's filed. Maintain 8,000, 10 after 19.2, and 3051 for Skywest 2990. Skywest 2990, 
thousand feet. I do a landing light. Check, did that. Descent monitor, no kidding. That's good. Speed brakes, weather, did that. No holding pattern today. We're going to do precision. Approach phase will be soon. forget guys I live stream on my twitch account on Sunday evenings at 8 Eastern 7 Central if anybody ever wants to drop by and say hi or ask questions that's where you can find me live otherwise feel free to leave a comment in the um, YouTube channel I do check them So go with that. Cut it down the middle. So we can't lower it outside of six until we are clear to fly the approach. The approach was assigned. We have legal, or not legal, I guess you could say legal. The approach has been legally assigned and entered we just can't legally fly it until we are clear to fly it which should be coming up here soon i flew in here last night uh not san fran but half moon bay which is just on the uh just out here on the water and uh, it was all like it was via far because I flew from Sacramento Mathers Field to Half Moon Bay and everything was via far I flew via far with flight following all the way till I got to about San Fran I tried to get underneath this cloud layer last night but it was just socked in at Half Moon Bay so I had to turn around and hang around the Golden Gate Bridge and I had to get a pop-up IFR into Half Moon Bay using an uh, instrument approach. So it was pretty fun. It was a little bit different. You know, you start off EFR and you end up IFR. That doesn't happen too often with my flights. NorCal 135.65. NorCal 135.65, United 1399 Heavy. Mark out approach, uh, United 1399 heavy, this surfer 4, leaving 8000. United 1399 heavy, North Cal approach, uh, at Eddie cleared ILS, right approach. At Eddie cleared ILS 28, right approach, United 1399 heavy. Alright, so we are cleared the approach. So, I'm going to leave that. 200. Go flaps two. And we can take this down to 1800. So we'll just say 2000. Tesla 460, clear to San Diego Lamp International Airport. Fiber one departure, Mohawk transition as filed. Climbia Sid. Mr. Approach. Climb to 3000 on the San Francisco VOR radial 281 to Vicu. Uh, distance, DME 
12 DME, it's like 12 Delta nautical miles from San Francisco and hold. So 3,000 on a 281 from the VOR. We enter a right holding pattern. That's if you go missed. So we'll reset for 3,000. In fact, I can probably just do that now. Pretty sure the ILS will capture that. And we can see if, uh, let me see here. Approach phase is active, all that is good. Approach phase, position. Seepin is 3,000, a little bit high, so I'm going to pull in a little bit of speed break. All right, landing lights are all good. Manage speed. Speed brakes as required. We'll do landing gear down. United 1399 Heavy, contact San Francisco Tower. Over to San Francisco Tower, United 1399 Heavy. 120.5. And I'll do approach. I'll pound two. San Francisco Tower, United 13, Line 9 Heavy. Uh, establishing on the 28 right localizer now. United 1399 Heavy, San Francisco Tower, runway 28 right, Kurland. Runway 28 right, Kurland, United 13, Line 9 Heavy. I wasn't quite on the localizer. I'm used to saying uh, established on the localizer, 28 right, but I didn't think of it at that time. All right, so we got approach is armed, gear is down. We'll do uh, laps three here. We got missed approach set. And like I said, we're probably gonna exit whatever this is. Hold short, two eight left. set our arm those spoilers and we'll set our uh, speed brake to two brake number two so we can try to get that exit at 2000 we'll uh, go to managed Ace 
Charlie Bravo 1. Charlie Bravo 1, Skywest 2990. Ground is point eight. There's one hundred and seventy knots, so we can go flaps full. Turn the terrain off. Signs, cabin. Ready, landing gear down, flaps, spoilers are armed, auto brake, speed brake, seat belts, all right, everything is good. Echo. Tango Delta Alpha cross uh, 28 left to Delta, and we'll monitor ground on the other side. Unit 1389 Heavy, thanks you too. Delta and then Alpha, so... Yeah, we can do a sharp left turn here. going.
time is 20 past 12 a.m. For your safety and comfort, we ask that you please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. This will indicate that we have parked at the gate and that it is safe to move about. Please check around your seat for any personal belongings you may have brought on board with you, and please use caution when opening the overhead vents, as heavy articles may have shifted around during the flight. If you require departing assistance, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have departed. One of our crew members will then be pleased to assist you. We remind you to wait until inside the terminal to use any electronic devices, or to smoke in the designated areas. On behalf of our airline, Six Star Scout 2990, ready to go, runway 8, Charlie. Scout 2990, Phoenix Star, runway 8, clear for takeoff. 8, clear for takeoff, Scout 2990. Nose wheel lights. Alright, that, uh, there, there. Anti ice probe off. Engine mattress switches off. Beacon and fuel pumps off, so. We can turn all this stuff off. Crew supply, nav. Right back, we'll do a replay. Service 3990, check your transponder, contact Soka Park, question, contact Phoenix departure. East departure, Scott, 2090. Departure Scouts 2990 is 4.2 for 8,000 chili cool. Scouts 2990, Phoenix Departure, run a contact. Climb via set except maintain uh, flight level 210. Climb via set except maintain flight level 210, Scouts 2990. see much planes after the replay. Disconnected. This plane always looks ginormous. Landing. The model is 
not really uh i don't think it matches what the rest of the ground and everything it just seems like it's a little bit too big for these runways but could be wrong it's a fun plane though i like it the only thing i don't like about it is that it doesn't have secondary or third flight plan availabilities where the um most other airlines do have the second flight plan capability, but this doesn't. All right. Good deal. Y'all take care. See ya.